Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. As usual, I always remind you that it is important to allow your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings, because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages that you need to receive. So we have our cards on the table, and I'm going to grab our oracle cards as well. As I'm getting our oracle cards, I want to tell you that everyone who took part in the in the um, new moon ceremony that happened on the 21st of March, I am working on editing your videos and sending those videos out to you soon. So please do be keeping out an eye out on your email. The ceremony was out of this world. It was absolutely epic. I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so the next ceremony will be happening on the 6th of April. For those of you who missed out on this ceremony, we have another one that is going to be happening in a couple of weeks. So, beloved, we have your cards on the table and we have some interesting cards that are here. OK, because the divine is wanting to talk to you about a feeling that is here where some of you are self-sabotaging, where some of you are getting in your own way. OK, where some of you, the self-sabotaging that is here is coming through from other people wanting to best your bubble, wanting to perhaps disagree with you, especially when you were talking about growth, especially when we're talking about you leveling up and going to those higher places, being upgraded. The divine is saying, put yourself in a spiritual bubble. Stop. Keep on trying to defend yourself, especially to people who are already invested in misunderstanding you. So the divine is saying that it is important for you to start protecting yourself. It is important for you, especially to isolate yourself. So for some of you, you might be going through that isolation phase at the moment, right? Because you've received a major arcana card of the Hermit card. The Hermit card is all about introspection. It's about going within. It's about going through that spiritual journey and understanding that the spiritual journey is very much important especially if you're wanting to level up, especially if you're wanting to see your blessings starting to come true. The divine is saying that you have to go through that ascension. You have to go through that moment where you feel that perhaps everything is breaking down, where you feel that perhaps the world is against you. But the divine is saying, keep that light of yours shining, protect that light of yours because you need this light because this light is going to be guiding you on this new path, on this new journey. So please do not be self-sabotaging by allowing other people to get in your way, by allowing vices and addictions to get in the way. So for some of you, maybe you are starting to stop drinking, you're starting to stop smoking, you're stopping to engage in vices and addictive behaviors. So there's a sense of you being asked to go on a spiritual retreat, to go within. Because when you do that, you're going to be seeing that Things are going to start happening for you in a powerful way, in a positive way, because as you can see, we have our Oracle card, which is talking about unexpected news. So for some of you, first of all, these unexpected news could be coming through maybe a volatile situation. OK, that just blows up out of all proportion. And then you isolate yourself, you distance yourself so that you can look at this situation that that just happened. Because it almost feels to me like that tower moment, right? So for some of you, there just could be a situation that is turning toxic. For some of you, there's a situation that is here that you know that it's not good for you. And so there just could be something that comes out of the blue that is unexpected that then leads you to this new beginning that is going to be on the cards. This message that is here is all about catapulting you into a new beginning, into who you are meant to be, putting you on the journey of this new beginning that is here because you have the six of wands the six of wands is an interesting energy okay because the six of wands is about going to war perhaps this is you going to war to defend yourself perhaps you've just been recently defending yourself a lot and you haven't been afraid you haven't been backing down and because of that the six of wands brings the energy of victory the six of wands brings that energy where you are seen where you are heard, where you are appreciated, where you are being rewarded for a job well done. So this is why the divine is saying to you, please don't self-sabotage. Please have that moment of quietness, of isolation, because when you do that, you are going to be able to focus 
on your journey. You're going to be able to focus on what it is that you want. And the focus that is here is about you being that warrior, is about doing the things that is right for you, rather than wanting to please other people, rather than always backing down because the majority are against you. You need to understand, chosen ones, that you are the black sheep of the family for a reason. You feel like an outcast for a reason, because you're here on this planet in this moment in time for a divine purpose. So please do protect yourself spiritually and focus on where you're going. Close out all the noise that is around you. Really isolate yourself if you have to, because the divine is wanting you to understand that right now you are working with divine timing. Okay. And this is why it is going to be important for you to really protect yourself, to really isolate yourself. Otherwise, you could be seeing that this isolation that is here is forced on you because it is a moment that feels to me like the divine is saying that we can either do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. Which one is it going to be? Because there's a feeling that is here where the divine is saying that your wishes are coming true. Yes, you did your new moon ritual, your moon, your new moon ritual. Your prayers on that day was received. Now it is over to you to go and make the journey that you need to make. But for some of you, there just could be that weakness of you always backing down to other people, especially when tension is there, especially when a lot of people are against you. Because you need to understand that the path to being upgraded, the path to ascension is not easy. Because if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. So this is why you have to step into this energy of being a warrior. This is why you have to step into the energies of the six of wands, not being afraid to go and fight for what is rightly yours, to go and defend what is rightly yours. So whatever it is that you're currently experiencing or will be experiencing in the new near future, there just could be a feeling where you just feel like there's a lot that is going on. There's a lot of expectations that are put on your shoulders. There's just a lot of energies that are here. But it is necessary. The pressure that you're experiencing is that pressure just before the baby is born. The most painful moment is just before you birth yourself into that new paradigm, into that new chapter, into that new timeline that you have been praying for. So there's a feeling that is here where you just could be seeing that you are juggling a lot. OK, you're juggling your emotions, you're juggling your money, you're juggling your passion, you're juggling the feeling of being an outcast, the feeling of being misunderstood, the feeling of being just like nothing is currently going right right now. But the divine is saying that again, the darkest hour is just before dawn. So even if you're experiencing challenges, the divine is saying that you are almost there. And this is why this card is saying to you that put yourself in that spiritual uh, protection that bubble build that bubble build your strength so that when people are attacking you when people are against you you are not letting that phase you you are not letting their words their action their vibe bring you down you are remaining high vibe you are remaining up okay you're protecting your energy because you're understanding that the power that you're feeling right now the power that is around you right now it is there for a reason so the divine is saying that Again, starting to look at situations from this point of view of the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is all about analyzing. So you're starting to analyze why people are acting, behaving the way they're behaving. You're starting to have a deeper understanding of what is really going on here. And you're starting to realize, like I said, that the darkest hour is just before the dawn. So the divine is saying, step into that energy of the Queen of Swords. Okay, really look at a situation, understand people's behaviors, because people's behaviors are not that they're bad people. Sometimes they are, but sometimes they are acting out of defending their own paradigm. They're acting out of defending their own beliefs, because they understand that if you start upgrading, if you start going leveling up, if you start going up in the world, then it forces them to start looking at their lives. It forces them to start questioning what it is that they're doing with their lives. And people will rather attack you. People will rather try and burst your bubble. People will rather do things that bring your energy down back to their level rather than let you float up into the air, rather than let you float up, ascend and go and get your wishes to start coming true. So the divine is saying, 
Don't focus on the reasons why people are doing what it is that, do, that they're doing. It is just that they're trying to defend their beliefs. They're trying to defend their reality. And even if they might not know it, their action proves that to you, that they are just in that moment of fear. And don't let other people's fear be the reason why you bring your energy down, why you bring your vibration down. Because the divine is wanting to absolutely, okay, remind you, especially if you took part in the new moon ceremony, okay, the divine is wanting you to understand that your wishes are going to be coming true. And you can focus on this unexpected news in a positive way because you are focusing on where you are going. So you're going to be seeing that, yes, your wishes are coming true. Yes, things are starting to happen. There's a moment of joy. Sometimes it is absolutely shocking because you can just be thinking, wow, really? That magical moment truly happened? That synchronicity led to this point? There's just a lot of energy that is perfect for manifesting a new beginning, for entering a new beginning. This is why I was emphasizing on the last couple of re weeks on those readings to do the new moon ceremony that we just did just now, because that is all about planting your seeds. Okay. And you have planted those seeds and you're going to be seeing those seeds starting to grow. You're going to be seeing that you're receiving good news unexpectedly. Like it doesn't make sense. Okay, you apply for a job that pays like really well and you're way underqualified. But because you're vibrating high, you're excited, you are knowing that the universe is, is supporting you. You are understanding that the divine has your back. So you go and apply that job. And before you know it, you are getting selected. You are the chosen one. And you just could be like, what? Really? So there's a moment in time where the divine is saying, don't sabotage by not having enough faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself because the energies have shifted. Have faith in yourself because it is your time. Especially if you worked with me on that new moon ceremony, it was a powerful new moon. I have been posting some shorts. So go and watch the shorts that I've been posting. And we're going to be doing our new moon ceremony, rather our full moon ceremony, in a couple of weeks so if you're wanting to be part of that again everything that you need to know is in the description box below beloved this is the reading this is the message that the divine wanted to give you you are on the right path and you're gonna know that you're on the right path especially if you're facing resistance especially if you're seeing that people are against you especially if you're feeling like you just can't take it anymore don't back down now like I said, that is the moment when you're about to birth yourself into the new chapter that you prayed for. So don't let those prayers go to waste. Don't keep on going up and down, up and down. One moment you're really excited, you're protecting your energy. Then you face opposition and your vibration comes down. And then you're never getting to where your blessings are waiting for you to, where your wishes, the Ten of Cups, your wishes coming true, to you, where your wishes are coming true. So beloved, Again, protect your energy and the full moon ceremony. Please do take part in that if you feel like you need to, because these energies are all about understanding how to work with the ether, with the divine energies that are around us, because they really help us, catapult us, move us into a new reality, shift the paradigm that you're currently existing in. So I'm going to see you in my next reading. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.